Greetings, everyone. I am doing another episode of my series, Nerds with Badges. I actually had uh, released an episode last month, but there was some issues. Um, see, um, we were supposed to do like a 15-minute episode, uh, but we got a lot of really, really good footage. So it was decided that we would just use and uh, do like an hour long episode. So we shot the footage, I uploaded it and everything. Come to find out from someone else that, that saw the video that there was no sound halfway through the video. So it was just, to me, that was just devastating. <laughs> um, yeah, so the cinematographer is trying to see if he can fix the issue. Um, I don't know if he's really having any luck. I, I, I'm supposed to find out tomorrow, and then we're going to try to release the episode, a more condensed version. But I did do a little editing myself, and I actually was able to chop the episode in half. So that, oh, I may just make that like an entire episode. But the only thing that's really messed up is we got a lot of really, really good footage. And I was just like, man, I think that just kind of threw me into a state of depression. Because it was it was an expensive shoot, and uh, we got a lot of really good footage, and uh, then you know then to find out. So I have the raw files of the episode myself. I did get a copy of the raw files before they were edited, so I may be able to take some of those um, some of those little snippets of episodes of the episode and put them together. But man, it was such a bummer. So I'm I'm actually here at work. I just got here. It's 9:21 over here in Los Angeles, California. I uh, God, it's, it's, it was raining earlier today. It's supposed to rain today and tomorrow. This has been a perfect day to stay home. And, and um, God, I had a dentist appointment this morning. I canceled it because I was just like, really was not was not. It's not the day. It was not the day. Um, it's the past week the past couple of weeks actually been kind of interesting i went home to see my family i went home to see my mother in orlando so that was really nice i didn't get a chance to go to universal studios what is what i planned on doing but i did end up hanging out with my sister and her kids and we went to universal city walk it was pretty crowded we, we did that on halloween i usually try to do something on on halloween i mean i like halloween i like all holidays honestly but uh halloween fell on a sunday this year uh, which was, was interesting, was it? Yeah, it was, uh, was it Sunday. Yeah, I think it, yeah, I think it was a Sunday, 31st. It was a Sunday, so it was, it was kind of, it was kind of weird. Um, uh, might have been Monday, Jesus, anyway. Uh, as far as, as far as, uh, work goes, it's been, it's been a little, a little, little laid back i want to say kind of laid back i mean it's still kind of crazy the area that i work in that i do security in as you know i do security for the lgbt center in los angeles here i don't know if i if i mentioned that before that's hence the nerds with badges thing so i'm a nerd with with, with a badge so the whole concept of my videos is other nerds like myself that are that work in law enforcement military or um uh Security guards, law enforcement, military, anyone who has a badge who is into, into comic books, video games, and uh, nerdy stuff, technology, all that. So I do security. I've been doing security for the LGBT Center for 15 years. When I first started, it was a lot more laid back, but it's got really crazy Er, over, over time. And um, I don't know, the whole world has been crazy. And I guess I, I really wanted to, to kind of touch on that, some of the things that have been going on. I try to not get too caught up in what's going on in the news, but it's just, you know, you can't just have your horse blinders on all the time. I've been seeing, this is New York. I used to live in New York years ago, and New York has been having a lot of problems right now with people getting pushed into subway trains. Like, really? People walking up to other people and just stabbing them. People just walking up to other people and just punching them. And I mean, it's it's crazy. It's insane to me. Um, like I mean, I deal with I mean, I I deal with depression, anxiety. I mean, I guess that's that's mental illness. 
that's, you know, uh, it's really just anxiety, more anxiety than everything else. I don't really feel depressed. It's just sometimes when I feel my lows, sometimes it just, it just, it, I guess it just, it just kind of like hits you. But it's more the anxiety for me, just the, the nervousness, the, the social awkwardness. But I know some with some other people, it's just uh, a chemical imbalance making them do things. I mean, I I try to think of explanations for why some people do some of the things that they do. And I when I watch the news and I'm like, damn, I mean, how do you just walk to somebody and just, you know, or just people walking around talking to themselves? So it's like different forms of this thing that manifest. And, you know, some people, some people, I mean, I've been hearing this since I was a kid. You know, we're living in the last days. You know, some a lot of people say that. I mean, mostly older people, I think. Yeah, I have my own theories. I do think that there's something spiritually going on with some people, too. So, I mean, the mental illness thing is, you know, when you see people that uh, are dealing with things, you don't know, um, some people, I, I don't know. I'm just trying to make sense of it all, you know, just watching somebody just walk up to a total stranger and just push them into a subway, you know, tracks. Uh, it's becoming such a problem in New York right now. And then here in LA, we have a lot of people that are homeless walking around in the streets, sleeping in tents on the sidewalk. And I mean, the, the whole world feels like, you know, I think COVID just kind of made everything just more, feel more intense. I mean, I guess we've always had issues. So, my nerd, my nerdism, my my love for comic books and video games and computer stuff and my brand new Hawkman action figure I just got in the mail. All these things help me to deal, help me to it's like an escape. Um, it's actually pretty, it's actually pretty good. I don't know. I might get all the other characters. I don't know. I'm gonna try to like read more comic books about Hawkman. I mean, I always thought he was kind of an interesting character. I used to watch Super Friends on TV, the cartoon, so many years ago. Probably more than most of you were born. <laughs> um, well, they have, anyway, you know what I'm saying. I think, that, I think the Super Friends came out like in the 60s and ran through the 70s and there's been different iterations of it. But uh, I remember seeing Hawkman and, you know, characters like Black Vulcan, well, I didn't know at the time. I found out much later that Black Vulcan was actually, they couldn't use Black Lightning because of some copyright issues. So they had another character that like, took his place <laughs> that they created. And I always thought, you know, Hawkman, you know, you know, he was a white dude in the in the show. I think it was, I think Hawk Girl was there too. I can't really remember. Um, but uh, it was um, really I got nosy co-workers here. It was it was really um, interesting. You know, there's something cool about a character with big bird wings flying around. I even had my own, like, character, my own kind of, like, Hawkman kind of character that I used to draw. Uh, his name was Eagle Man. And I, I've been bringing back some of my older characters and putting them into, into, like, updated, making them into, like, updated versions and doing comic books on them out talk about all that later. I'm trying to keep this video short. I want to get in some gaming before I start my shift in about 30 more minutes. But yeah, I guess I just needed to just talk to use this platform to just vent, which is what artists do. You know, we use what we use our talents to express things, help us process stuff. And um, <clears throat> this, I think that this last the last couple of months have been just really, really weird for me. But 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 2020, since 2020 started, I mean, 2020 was, I think that was really the, that was like me falling down into the damn rabbit hole. It just felt like it. And creatively, I feel like I, I went through this, like, kind of like a plunge in a way, because I really wasn't filming anything. I mean, I, I used to do web series on YouTube years ago called Sons of Legend, which I'm re revisiting. But um, I had started working on a, on a short film, a web series, dealing with Satch Watch and a group of women bounty hunters. And because I was, I was dealing with 
was coming down from a really bad situation dealing with me losing ownership of one of my properties that I was working on. So I've been seeing that come up a lot lately. People talking about, um, well, just ownership or just people being kind of ripped off. I mean, it's something that really, you know, I, when I was younger, I used to hear stories about certain artists and them being just disgruntled or just not wanting to work in the industry anymore. Just like, just, how the media just kind of painted them a certain way because they were just being difficult. And then when I find out like the backstories, a lot of times, man, I tell you artists and writers and even singers, musicians, I mean, some artists are just taken advantage of. And there are parasites out here, man, that will just take your stuff. And I mean, it's just, it, it, it is like the, one of the most ultimate forms of violation to have something that you create taken from you by someone else that wants to take what you created and just pimp it out there, really. Even just steal, outright steal your ideas. I mean, these types of things happen. But a lot of a lot of artists, I found out much later in life, of course, a lot of artists that I listened to, that I grew up listening to as a kid, uh, the reason why a lot of these people are doing tours now, even though they're like up, some of these people are up in the years, because they didn't get any money from the money, the, the from their work that they did, all these songs that you're hearing on the radio, sometimes it's some real horror stories. And I really, I understand what that feels like, man. I mean, just, and I really, my heart just goes out to anybody out there who has been screwed over by unscrupulous individuals in the industry that will just, or have just, you know, we got sharks out here, man. You got to be really careful. You got to be careful who you align yourself with who you let in your in your you know in your presence the energy thing but um just enough about that i'm a little excited a little a little worried because tomorrow the new sonic the hedgehog video game comes out and sonic's sonic the hedgehog has had a very very weird history with the 3d games the the, the side scrolling games you run back and forth and, you know, you run around the loops and all that. Those games have been good. But some of the 3D games that Sonic has done, I mean, they just have not turned out really well. So tomorrow, Sonic Frontiers comes out. It's going to be available on every platform. And there, you know, it's, the reviews have actually been okay. I've seen sevens. I mean, I haven't seen anything bad. Just that maybe it, it uh, <clears throat> excuse me, maybe it's, you know, there's some room for improvement, but it's not god awful. Now, when they released footage of this, I think, I believe it was last year, they released some footage of the game, maybe some in some kind of beta footage or something. They released it, and the, the footage was not. It was not a lot, a lot of people just kind of like ragged on the footage and just went off on it because like, the game just didn't really didn't to a lot of people didn't really look good. It's just, Sonic is running around in this open world. And not a lot going on, you know, there's no, you know, when I see animals running around or people running around in, in, a, in a forest or something, you know, you expect to see birds flying by and some other animals. And, or I don't know, even some NPCs, I guess they call them people standing around that you can talk to, interact with. But it was just like they just, you know, copy and pasted some from some other game or something. But as as we got as more time went by, we saw more and more footage. It just looked like there's more things going on. You know, the whole Sonic is like a cartoony type character. So when you take a cartoony type character and you put them in a really weird, a, a more like I guess realistic kind of setting, sometimes it can be jarring. Mario Odyssey, they they kind of did that. They still kept that. They still kept. I don't know. Maybe it's the system restraints of the of the Switch, but I mean, you know, it was pretty. The graphics were really good in for Sonic, um, from Mario Odyssey, and Mario walking around. I don't know how much more realistic you really want Mario to look. So, yeah, it looks like they are going with the style that's semi-realistic, and Sonic still looks kind of cartoony. I mean, he looks cartoony. It's not as jarring as like watching the Hulk, you know, sometimes when you see the Hulk in some of the live action when he's jumping around, it looks, it looks like, looks like a, 
a cartoon character jumping around in the real world. But they've gotten really good with the CGI. They've gotten better. They've gotten better with the CGI. But sometimes it's it is a little this it, it, it is a little it can it can kind of take you out of what you're watching when you you know that it's a, at least when they we had the the old TV show with the Hulk. You know, it was a guy, it was a big guy running around with his green body paint on and stuff. And it just, it didn't really, I think it just, it worked better. But um, I guess the CGI route was, was the more, uh, the more, what's the word I'm looking for? The more practical route for them. I guess it, it gives them more leeway, more, more, they can do, they can do more with the, with the character. And, um, you have them jumping around and stuff, and you have the destruction going on. You can do all that with computer graphics. If you got a real guy, you got to like manipulate him, and that can be kind of tricky. Although, when, you know, when you watch movies, when you watch a lot of the older movies like Superman, sometimes it, the, the special effects weren't that good. But then when you see like the newer movies, it got better with the CGI. And when you watch the Matrix, the Matrix Revolutions, when you see Neo flying around with um, what was the guy's name? Agent Smith, I guess. They they really made a lot of um, progress with the CGI. So uh, you got video games now that are using CGI, man. That would blows away some of the stuff that they did in film twenty years ago. They're getting almost to the point now where they can make characters look very. You know, they can make CGI characters that look completely real. I. I remember reading an article many years ago about the movie Finding Nemo. They said that they were working on the fish, and the fish actually looked too real. They looked too damn real. They had to dial them down and make them look more cartoony. That's that's something. So I, I, I think I just kind of went off on a tangent. I was talking all about Sonic. Uh, tan, um, tangent. Tan, ah, wake up, Sergio. Wake up. Oh, come on, coffee work. So I'm doing, an, I don't know if I, I, I don't know if I should remember the episodes of Nerds with Badges. I mean, I thought that would be a really good idea, but I don't know if I could call this episode six and a half because episode six, which I talked about earlier, I uploaded it, but then I had to go online and like cut out the last 30 minutes of that. So I may go and edit that again. And just make that a complete episode. So then this would be episode seven. So I was going to do the numbers. I don't know. I I don't think I... Did I talk about Black Adam? I don't know if I talked about Black Adam. Uh, but I did enjoy that movie. And I am definitely looking forward to... Well, you know. I was going to, I'm going to show you the action figure. But what I want to show you is the action figure of Namor that I have at home. Because Black Panther comes out on Friday, the 11th, Thursday or Friday is coming out. That is going to be something. Now, I'm probably going to go home Friday morning when I get off of work, dress for a while, and uh, maybe I'll go to, I'll go catch a show. I don't know. They used to do shows at 9 o'clock in the morning, but now it's like 11, 12. So I don't know what time it's going to be playing. I can sit up, maybe play a video game or something and get my adrenaline going and I won't be sleepy. Then I can maybe go see it, maybe catch a nine or 10 o'clock show. It seems like they do that for maybe the first week or so. Then they drop, then it drops down. But, um, you know, Chadwick, I feel that, you know, he, this is me. I really enjoyed him in the, the, all this, we saw him in Captain America Civil War. Then we got the two Avengers movies. And, uh, oh yeah, and we, got, and we got the Black Panther movie. And then we got the whole what if that they did where he did his voice for the Black Panther. Well, he was Star-Lord. He wasn't Black Panther. But, you know, the what if, it was like alternate reality where T'Challa was actually, he never became Black Panther. He just became, he was Star-Lord running around, uh, having adventures in outer space and stuff. It was really cool. The whole what if is really good. If you haven't seen it, it's very, very good. I used to read a lot 
of Avengers comics back in the day, and I always thought Black Panther was an interesting character because I like I like characters like that. The more like the more stealth, agile, acrobatic type characters, you know, like Captain America, the Daredevils, you know, even Batman and Robin. I think Batman sometimes is just so OP, even though he has like no powers. Technically, you can say Batman is a low level meta human because he's a ninja, you know. So there's that. You have the mysticism going on. Um, so, yeah, speaking of that, I almost forgot to talk about Gotham Knights, which is a new video game that I got last week. That game, you know, it came out. I think it came out in was it last was it October? I feel like it was it was sometime in October or late September. I can't remember. My God, when you were at nights, I feel like my brain is just the game got a lot of like really bad reviews. It was by the critics mostly. It seems like most of the people that actually played the game liked it. It was like you either liked it, you either loved it, or you didn't like it. You either loved it or you hated it. And then you had like this very small percentage of people that were just kind of in the middle. But uh, the, a, lot of, a lot of the critics were complaining about the whole, they just blew the whole 30 frames per second thing out, out of out of proportion. Like, I don't even know, like I played them, I bought them on PlayStation 5. The game came out on PC, came out on Xbox, and it also came out on PlayStation. You know, it didn't come out on Switch. God knows, if, I guess maybe we'll get a version of it maybe five or ten years from now on the next switch um the game it would they it was trashed because of the it was trashed because of the frame rate performance issues and uh people didn't like the combat system and it was buggy it was buggy now, i've done a lot of patches since i got the game last week and played it i haven't experienced any weird thing any, anything weird at all i like i like you know i always like the, the characters that are like have a little supernatural thing going on, the more mystical type characters. So I'm playing this Red Hood, who's like the tank. He's a big buff guy. So like, from what I remember of, of Red Hood, I remember that big story where Joker beat the crap out of him with a crowbar, and then I guess he died in an explosion or something, and then he came back to life from the Lazarus Pit, which is where Raul Al Ghul, however you say his name, he, he goes in this water and he just... Like this magical water just keeps him like immortal, brings you back to life too, apparently. So when Batman, I guess Batman took him there or, or somebody took him there in the, in the Lazarus pit and he came back to life. But he was a bad guy at first because he was kind of like mentally off. But then he just kind of came back to himself again. But he was more violent when he did come back to himself. So he's a hero, but he shoots people. But he uses rubber bullets most of the time. But now in the comic books, I think he doesn't use a gun anymore at all. I think that's something that they did. They did also with the Middle Eastern Green Green Lantern character. Trying to teach us things about guns. (sighs) It's not the guns that are the problem. It's the bad people. Anyway. So, yeah, I like the character. He can jump. He jumps in the air and he does like a... It's like a double jump, but he jumps in the air and he makes, I guess it's some kind of weird little, like a platform, a magical platform for a second. So he's able to jump on something that's not there and he jumps on. All the, all the characters have, there's, you got four characters in the game. You got Batgirl, you got Robin, you got Nightwing, and you got Red Hood. So Batgirl, you know, so that's self-explanatory. You know, of course, Robin. Robin is not Damian Wayne. I think that's sure which robin it is honestly it might be God, how many robins were there there's dick grayson it's tim drake and there's another one. Oh my god but yeah i don't think that it's damien so we got nightwing we got robin we got batgirl and we got red hood and they're taking the place of batman who dies in this explosive intro which is awesome I, I I really been enjoying the game, but you know when these games come out, sometimes when they they rush the games out for whatever reason, and they're not they're not um they're just kind of like half assed when they first come out, and then six months later the game is like the game that it was supposed to be like like uh, Cyberpunk. So I haven't had anything. I don't know what the frame rate is. I 
I tried to, to change the frame rate, but I did not even see an option, honestly. I don't know if maybe, um, I know they said you could change it. Maybe you can change it on the PC, I guess. That's one of the things I learned a lot about PC gaming. If you have a game and it runs like shit on your, on your computer, you just go in there and you fix the settings. These are things that were not always available to console gamers, but now you actually get the option. If you have a game that's like not really running very well, you can go in there and you can tinker with it maybe lower the performance of certain things to like to trade off to get like a smoother gaming experience so you can trade off on the graphics not being as sharp but the character's movement will be faster and more responsive you know, stuff like that but i haven't encountered any of that on my playthrough and i'm playing on like easy you know i put it out there i don't care i mean i i don't really have time to like be playing a game and struggling with a boss for like three weeks and five weeks or whatever and then you know and then all these other games are coming out and i'm like stuck on yeah so i i tend to play <laughs> i one of the most i guess the best kept secret of video games is that you even though you might start off on easy by the time you've gotten probably halfway through the game the, the difficulty it, it usually adjusts just you know something you don't notice because you get your skills have gotten better by then but yeah a lot of times so yeah don't feel bad about playing a game on easy because when you start off it gradually ramps the difficulty up according to your skill progress progression so unless you're like playing crappy on purpose <laughs> the game will definitely get harder as you play along because it just it ramps up but it's not something that you notice because like you know it's, it's kind of it's interesting, interesting that they do that. But yeah, yeah, the game actually by the time you you've gotten to the end, you're you're probably playing on normal, at least. And then you know you can go back and play through the game again. You know, a lot of times they'll have like you know, kind of make try to make you feel bad because they don't give you achievements when you play on easy sometimes. So if you want to get all the accolades and unlock certain things, you play on easy. I mean on on, on normal at least. And you know, some games don't even give you the option, you know, you just play and then that's it. Um, but some of these games, it's really sometimes it's the puzzles that just kind of get me stuck. I mean, there were some puzzles in Spider-Man PlayStation that just, whew, yeah, I just dread, dread the thought of those damn puzzles because they just, you're having fun, you're swinging around, you're beating up fools and, you know, then here comes this puzzle and you're just like, oh my God, I can't. And you're just stuck on this, and it's just hours and hours you're trying to figure this puzzle out. And thank God you can sometimes go online and find, well, I guess much of the time, back in the day, you had to go and, and like read a magazine or something to buy like a guide or a cheat book. And they used to have these things that you could buy to actually like let you cheat the game. So, oh my God, it's almost time for me to go to work. I thought I was going to have time to play a game. I brought my Steam Deck to work tonight try to get in some gaming i have been having trouble playing the vampire the masquerade game which i'm totally addicted to i have not been able to play that game here for a while i don't know what's going on it's something with the update or maybe something with the internet here but i when i was in florida i was able to play a little bit but um it just kind of sucks that the one game that i play it's one game that doesn't work <laughs> yeah go figure right so uh I guess I'm pretty much done talking about everything that I wanted to, to cover because I had a lot that I really wanted to say and I was kind of on the fence about doing an episode, but you know, it's all about the realness and being raw and, uh, oh yeah, there was one thing that I did forget to, to talk about and I'll talk about that real quick before I get out of here to finish my coffee. The, there's a, uh, there's a game that's out now. I don't know if, I, if I've talked about it before, but it's called Gigabash. And Gigabash is like, it's a fighting game with giant monsters. And the game, I remember playing the demo for the game. I think it was early last year the demo came out. And I've been waiting and waiting for the actual game to come out. And it came out and I, I played it. Thank God there's a story mode. It took me... Maybe a couple of months to finish the story mode. I played a few online matches. I've been playing a lot of the Godzilla fighting game. I mean, I always play that that game. Thank God they, they keep the online. They've kept the online going 
game has been out since like 2013, 2012. But um, they announced after me hearing rumors for a while that Godzilla is actually going to be in the game. They're going to put Godzilla in the game. I think it's coming up this month. It might be this week. But that's something that I'm excited about. Apparently there's a... I guess I missed Godzilla Day. I cannot believe I missed... They were doing a bunch of Godzilla stuff. They were showing Godzilla movies on YouTube. And um, they also let it be known that there's a new Godzilla movie coming pretty soon. Sometime next year. And I'm a big Godzilla person, so I definitely want to talk about that. I mean, my handle my handle on Xbox is Sergezilla. And um, yeah, I'm a big Godzilla person, so hopefully they will release that game um, worldwide in theaters. You know, I don't know if they've done that before. I guess they did it with I think they did it with Godzilla 2000 because I went to see that in the theaters. But that was actually a re-release because they went they fixed the music and they changed some stuff. They actually bumped I think they bumped up some of the special effects too. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to do another episode of Nerds with Badges. Because Nerds with Badges is still alive, even though there's, we had some technical issues with the last episode. I realized I don't have to have a million dollar, I don't have a million dollars, but a big budget set up every time I do an episode. You know, I mean, the idea originally was just going to be me and a camera just talking. Maybe have some guests, maybe have, you know, talk about different things. So... I just want to do something. I, I want to do like a something bigger, and you know, I did that, and look what happened. So now I can't even release the episode completely. So simple is better, apparently. So some episodes I'll probably have like a crew and people, and you know, then some episodes it'll just be more, it'll be more intimate. You know, it's a it's an evolving platform, and it can be, you know, it's a what is the word I'm looking for? It's a platform that is always changing. I just said evolving, but you know, you, I just, I have complete creative freedom. I mean, this is like one of my babies, you know, I'm not bound so I can do different, different things and change it, change things up. I mean, I, I want to do an episode where I go to an amusement park. That's something probably maybe comic book conventions too. That's something that's probably going to be coming sooner than later. That's all I'm going to say about that for now. And that concludes this episode of Nerds with Badges. And uh, this might just be the episode for the month. I may, maybe I'll do another episode this month. Um, I'll decide. And this new computer seems to be working really well. I'll go back and watch the video that is recording and decide, uh, you know, if it gets a thumbs up or a thumbs halfway or a thumbs down. Anyway, I'm out for now. Have a good night.